Hello once again, Aaronette. It's me, Carmen, coming right back at you with... Say hello, wonderful people, Kenny. Hi. I am at the border station right now, bordering Virginia on this side and North Carolina over here. Basically, the plan is we're going to Nags Head, going to have a fun day. Figured I would show you guys what I'm up to. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. And for those wondering, this is the outside of the border station. Got the basically the line runs right in the middle, as you can see. So part of the building is in North Carolina, and part of it's in Virginia. So apparently, according so right to Kenny, standing, that's where the line is. We're standing smack dab in the middle. So this car is in both states. Southern Shores and the other side of the street is actually Kitty Hawk. It's really dumb. So we're in Kitty Hawk now. It's time to put on the seatbelt. We're about to cross in. Well, we're in Nags. Wait, this is considered the this outer is banks, Shores. right? That's all the outer banks. The it's whole all, thing. The whole thing is the outer banks. We're in North Carolina. I had done a video actually like right after we went across the bridge, but someone forgot to hit record. I think I forgot to hit record. And it was done. It was done for. But we are now in Southern Shores, Kitty Hawk. And now Hawk. we're about to cross the street and go into Kitty Hawk. Because apparently this is Southern Shores and across that way, that's Kitty Hawk. Who knew? Jeanette's Pier. The thing about Jeanette's Pier is it's all concrete. I've never seen anything like it. I'm a little hyped. I haven't hyped. seen it yet. I haven't ever seen anything like it before. An all concrete pier. Wait for it. I don't, want, I I don't want to be too judgmental It's not though. that far. It's got a whole bunch of um, wind turbines on it. It's got really? windmills on it that, that so, power the pier. Does so it generate power for the houses around it? Or just um, I think just the pier and I think it sends some of the power back to the grid. I'm not sure. We are now at Jeanette's Pier. So Kenny, is there anything you'd like to tell us about Jeanette's Pier? Um, well, it was destroyed by a hurricane. I think it was, I can't remember how long ago it was. And then they rebuilt it entirely made of concrete. And it is the first pier in the world that is entirely self-sufficient. Entirely self-sufficient. So you guys will see here in a second, there's actually wind turbines on the pier itself. All right, so we are now at Jeanette's Pier. So if y'all were curious, these are the wind turbines we were telling you about earlier. This area, the building and everything are powered by its wind turbines, entirely self-sufficient. Jenny's actually never been on the pier, and I haven't either, but he was telling me all about it. So, yeah, you see the whole thing's concrete, right? The concrete, well, this is wood, but there's concrete under it. Yeah. Well, there's actually wood. If you look through, there's nothing under it. Well, there's like, like great, great underneath it. But there's really nothing down there. Right. This was originally when it was first built. It was the very first pier ever built in the Outer Banks. Which if you, if you can see, there's like four or five of them. There's one down there too. Way down there, you can see it kind of. Like three or four. If you go all the way down, I think there's like seven piers. This was the very first one they built back in the 30s. Well, in the 60s, it was destroyed by a hurricane. And 1962 years later it was destroyed by another storm and then when Hurricane Isabel came around destroyed the pier again and then they rebuilt it to what it is today there you go all right we are back off the pier in the main building we'll put out my map found me some fishies here fishy 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 here fishy fishy so many fishies that one has stripes Kenneth Kenny that one has stripes that one has stripes too. Carmen, you're having too much fun. 
All right, so we have left, we're leaving Jeanette's Pier. What do you think of it, Kenny? I give it a 10 it's out of cold. 10. It is cold. Right now it's about end of, well, actually it's April 1st, so. It's in the 60s. It's in the 60s, so there's a lot of wind kicking. I mean, we're standing 20 feet from the ocean, so what do you expect? Of course yeah, that is true. <laughs> Very windy. But it was a fun experience, had some fun times. Now, now you're down at this level, you can smell the salt. <laughs> that is true. Giant the ocean is strong that. around here. We're all always living and learning. And sometimes I joke with Kenny, I'll joke with my friends. But you know, at the same time, we have to be understanding and accepting of each other. And we all have to try to educate each other because that's how people learn. We learn by asking questions. Just wanted to throw that out there. We are now on Hatteras Island. What is it? Peabody National Wildlife Reserve? No, it's Pea Island. Okay. We're on, it said Hatteras Island. Hatteras Island National Wildlife Reserve. We are now on Hatteras Island P National Wildlife Reserve. Oh, I'm going to say something. You see how the dunes look really new? Yeah. Every time they have a, hur a bad hurricane, it washes it away. Wow. I have to keep replacing them. So we are now on Hatteras Island. Just crossed an ancient bridge, according to Kenny. It's been there for 70 years. Got the dunes. Sun's in my eyes. Oh well, boo boo. We are, we are now leaving Nags Head, so we rode down the road. I went across the ancient bridge. We went across the ancient bridge in Hatteras Island, and we went to the Bodie Island Lighthouse. I'll put some pictures in of that in here. But we had a good time. It was pretty fun. And then we got McDonald's afterwards because all the restaurants were closed. It was actually pretty good, but I forgot to tell them not to put tartar sauce on my fish. Filet oh, fish. Hoo, hoo, hoo for you. Hoo, hoo, hoo is right. It was sad. You want some cheese with that wine? Anyways, you guys, I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you for watching. If you guys like this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up on this short North Carolina adventure. Let me know what you think in the comments of my vlog. And check out my social media. Twitter is the place to be. Anyways, thank you for watching, guys. I hope you have a good one, and peace out.